Hello everybody, this is Uncle Joseph from Bambino. Today I'm taking you to ICT Grade 1. ICT Grade 1. Now before we went on our long vacation, during second term we learnt a whole lot of things. Do you remember? We learnt a lot. We learnt about the computer file, we learnt about how to create a file, uh, we learnt about Excel and then a whole lot of things. Now today we are just going to revise a little and then we will continue from there. Now, how many of you remember our first topic in ICT? Yes, exactly. Our first topic was a computer file, a file, a file. Yes, and then we explain what a file is. We mentioned that a file is an object or image on the computer that stores data and information. A file is an object or image on the computer that stores data and information. Do you remember? Okay, so if you do, I mentioned some types of files we have, examples of files. I mentioned some examples of files. How many of you can remember and tell me? If you do remember, tell mommy and daddy before I go up. Good. So we mentioned that we have music file. Music file. Now this file contains music, you know, those who like the, you know, the songs to dance and, you know, yes, so this is a music file. And then we have document file. Document file. Now, most of you remember we were creating document files. You remember we were creating document files using WordPad. Using WordPad. Do you remember? Good, we'll come there shortly. And then we mentioned that we have setup file. Setup file. And then who can remember the other one I mentioned to you? Yes, exactly. The video file. Video file. Now, I taught you these four files because we'll be seeing them a lot. There are a lot of files I mentioned earlier. Now, we are going to learn how, we are going to remember how we created our document file. We created the document file using WordPad. Now, let's go there. So first, we already learned that was last year how to go to our computer. So we turn on our computer. You know the process. Try to remember and tell mommy and daddy. And then we learned how to log in into our student account, our people account. You remember that too. And then we opened WebPad from there. We clicked on the start button and then we typed WebPad and then it appeared. And then we moved our mouse pointer to WebPad and then left click on it once. Do you remember? Good. Now, after opening WebPad, we learnt the features of the WebPad. Now, let's try and remember one or two of the features. Now, we learnt that the WebPad window has a title bar. So, we learnt about the title bar, where we stated that the title bar contains the name of the software we are using and then the name of the document we are creating. And then we also mentioned the control box, which is also found in the title bar. Control box. Another important feature of the web part we do we learned was the document area. Document area. Now, I know you remember this part of the WebPad window because we used it often. Now, another feature we used, who 
can tell me what other feature do we take note of? Gold, the ruler. Yes. And the insertion point. Now, we should remember the insertion point so much because we know everything we typed on the keyboard appeared at wherever the insertion point was. Do you remember? Good. Now, tell mommy and daddy what you typed on that day when we were using Webpack. Have you done that? Good. Now, how did you save what you typed? Okay, let's try and remember that. How to save. Now, I know you remember. I'm just going to start the two steps and then you will continue yourself and then let mommy and daddy know you know it by yourself. Now, the first step is to click on the file menu. You remember that, right? And then the other step is to select save from the drop down menu that appears. Yes, I know you remember the rest. So a save as dialog box appears on the screen. And then what are you supposed to do? Tell mommy, tell daddy. You type your name for the file. And then afterwards, you click on the save button to complete saving. Good. That is good. Now, what again did we learn using Webpack? Who can tell? Me? We learned how to open our saved document and then edit it and then resaving it again. Didn't we? Good. I'm going to leave you so that you explain that to mommy and daddy for a while. Were you able to do so? If you can, show mommy and daddy how to do it on the computer. Good, I believe you did so. Now, the other thing we learned last time before we went for our break, who can remember? That was the last thing we learned, who can remember? Excel, good. But we started from somewhere. Spread sheet. Spread sheet. Now we mentioned that a spreadsheet is a computer program that allows us to take uh, data in uh, a table format so that we know how many of a particular item we have or how many people love a particular toy. Do you remember I asked you to list your toys? And then we voted for the favorite toy. And then we saw how many people loved a particular toy. Now, we understood that Excel can, can help you put those toys in the table form and then take and know the number of people that love a particular toy. And then we also explained, we also stated some examples of the spreadsheet application. We mentioned the Excel. We mentioned the Google Sheets. We mentioned also the iWork numbers and other examples. And then we use Excel because that is the widely used software. Do you remember? Good. Now, how do we open Excel on the computer? I want you to tell mommy and daddy so that they know you know what I'm talking about. Good. We went through the same process as we opened WebPad. But this time, instead of typing WebPad, 
we type Excel and then it appears and then we go and then let's click on it once to open it. Now, we have time to study only a few parts of the Excel window. How many of you remember? The Excel window also has a title bar, a control box as well. And then we mentioned, someone said it has a document area. And I said it's true, but the document area here contains something. And then I told you it contains cells. Cells. And then, one person asked what a cell was. Now, a cell is when a column crosses a row. It forms a box, and that is known as a cell. And then we learned active cell as well. Active cell. And then we learned that the active cell is a cell that has a tick box around it, therefore making it ready to accept data so that you can key in your age. Now, you remember you typed your name and your friend's name? Yes, I remember too. And then you typed your age and your friend's age. Do you remember? Now, your name and your friend's name, we gave it a name. We gave all those things, the letters and the characters and numbers you use in typing your friend's name and your name. We said it is called what? A label. Label. And then do you remember we typed your friend's age and then your age? And then we mentioned that the numbers you type in each cell is called a value. A value. So this made us understand that numbers in Excel or numbers in cells are called values. Whilst characters, uh, that includes letters, numbers, and symbols, are called labels. We stated that they are called labels because they are used to name a particular cell. And then the numbers are called values because we can use them to perform calculations. Now, you remember we performed a simple calculation where we added our ages your first age and then your age together to get the total sum in a particular cell. Do you remember? Can you do that at all? I want you to show mommy and daddy how to do that. Good. So, I want to end here whilst you, you know, try to remember how to add your friend's age and then your age and prove to mommy that you do remember. And then I'll come your way next week to bring you something new for the time. Thank you, and then stay safe, stay at home, and don't worry, mommy and daddy, okay? Bye-bye.